So I got a story you can actually put in the recording if we need a cold open. <laughs> sure. Go ahead. Okay. Go for it. All right. So in, today's my birthday, right? Yes. I did say happy birthday, by the way, and you completely ignored me. So I don't know if you heard me or. I may have. I don't remember it. <laughs> I probably didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah. You didn't say anything like, by the way, happy birthday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's because, you know, I had a uh, dude Fieri singing to him yeah. for his birthday. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it totally blew everything else out of the water. Absolutely. How could I focus on anything with that like monument to masculinity in my ears? Um but anyway, so like you know, you, you know, like, you know, birthdays happen and you know the, where my head always goes is like, oh god, I'm going to hear the question, how does it feel to be you know, age? You know <laughs> and and you know it's just a day, so you know it's stupid. And so, you know, I'm I'm kind of thinking to myself, like, yeah, you know, I feel like I'd always feel. And then I'm in the bathroom and I look in the mirror, and coming out of my right eyebrow is one like three inch long eyebrow hair that is completely white. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so long that it's heavy enough to hang down from my eyebrow. <laughs> Uh, like, 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 right, like, almost in my field of vision, but not quite. <laughs> and so, like, that's the only new sign of aging that I have at my new age is one ridiculously long, random gray eyebrow hair. Times were tough, so I sold my soul. Hey, Internet, Highway 47. No. <laughs> this will be like, this will be like, just like, hold on, just like very small amounts of time. There, okay, I'm good. Hey, Internet, Highway 47 here coming. What I wanted to say, because I just reminded myself of Boogie 2988, for some reason, uh, who I haven't watched one of his videos in like, eight months either what i don't even know but we're here we're watching some stuff and i am shaggy b with me is draco funk hey i'm here he is and with us also in in spirit and in flesh but not necessarily in brain is Frederick. days ago it was foretold <laughs> that i was here still yes <laughs> <laughs> and <Sup>? we are <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are uh we are in the middle of um we are in the we're at the end of what counts as a marathon for us old people uh we're on a doubler recording session today so you'll hear you'll hear what we did half an hour ago a week ago from when you hear this that would have worked if i'd said it the first time around <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, here we are, and we're watching some Star Trek Picard Season 1, Episode 6, which has a title that I don't know because I didn't look. Stardust City Rag. It's also not Episode 6. We're watching Episode 5. That is correct. Which is called Stardust City Rag, right? Yes. Very good. Is that by Scott Joplin, or is it a different pianist? It, it, it's um, Joseph Lamb. Okay, great. That, well, that's, uh, a, that's a ragtime joke because... Did you... Yeah. Not yeah. a joke, really. It's... It, you know, it, it had potential to be a joke, but neither one of us did it right. So, yeah, yeah. If if you're interested in ragtime music, like like you should Joseph be, Lam, Joseph Lamb, Joseph Lamb, you know, other than Scott Joplin, yes. <clears throat> and you should it's Joseph Lamb, or is it James Lamb? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jay Lamb. That's what I know. Um, but you should be you should be into ragtime music because it's part of our culture and history and it's pleasant and fun. And so did Star Trek used to be, and we are finding out whether it still is. And thus far, eh. So Drago Funk, tell us about this episode. So um this episode originally aired February twentieth of twenty twenty. So two twenty twenty twenty. Ah, what were you doing on 2 2020 
what the same thing I always do on the on a Thursday. Uh, I'm uh, you know I go out and I'm a musician, so I go play music. Yeah, you know what I was doing? Practicing music? No, I was. Well, when this aired, I was already at another town listening to other people play music. Oh. But I rode a bus to get there earlier that day with the musicians. But I myself did not perform. I see. What'd you do, Scroderick? I was sitting at a hospital hoping my dad wouldn't die. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, you can't. Which you, he didn't. Okay, so. good. I was about to say, don't leave the people hanging. Like they're they're gonna know your dad's okay as of as of the recording right now. He's 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 all right. You know. He's, yeah. L- look up the uh, YouTube yeah. video of Epic Beard Man. That's pretty much my dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, guys, um, you want to hear some? You want to hear something about this episode? I want to hear everything about it. It has. It, 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 this is a, so far. Thus far, the lowest IMDb rating. I don't want to hear any more about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm excited to see um, what Seven of Nine brings us. Well, we know, you know what she used to bring us. Two two real big things that she used to bring: a strong female character and actual acting know, ability. <laughs> She wasn't just, you know, like uh, Chicote. <laughs> <laughs> they should have killed him in the first season. <laughs> I, you know, I take a little bit less issue with Chicote's character than I think the average person does because uh, he I did see get, like a really shitty deal. Exactly, I see him as middle management, and not only is he middle management, but he's middle management or death. Like it's it's not like it's not like the average middle manager, like you know, oh, if I quit my job, my wife will leave me, and my kids will hate me, and I'll lose the house. It's like if I quit the job, they throw me out the fucking airlock, <laughs> right? Well, or drop him off on a planet, you know, he, you know, where he can't get home in his lifetime. Exactly. Uh, so, so not only like it, it's it's even more like. It's e- it's even more of a dead end, hopeless job, and I, you know, and the look on his face that he has, literally all the time. If I were in that place, that's exactly what I'd look like. <laughs> well, yeah. and then I don't blame the actor for phoning it in too, because they did nothing interesting with this character. You know, the the whole thing was a fraud. The uh, yeah. the Native American consultant or whatever was a literal fraud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so. You know what they realized later on in the series? Like, they couldn't really do any stories that did not involve Tom Paris. Kind of true. I want you to think of a Voyager story that didn't have a plot that kind of revolved around Tom Paris doing something and everybody else just helping him. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, no. The only exception is maybe like when they did a seven of nine episode, but usually Tom Paris was there helping her. Well, there was the, the series finale was mostly Jane way. Right. Okay. I guess give Jane way an episode. <laughs> well, there's the one where she, well, no, that was with Tom. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tuvix. <laughs> Tuvix. There we go. That's like one of the worst episodes ever. Sure is. <laughs> no, I want to live. <laughs> yeah, we need the other people back. <laughs> uh, new life form. F you. <laughs> uh, well, this will be better. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
We're watching this on CBS All Access. Scrodger, tell the people what they need to do. We'll get your episode started, then pause it, then rewind back to the beginning, and we'll give you a five-second countdown. We'll hit play. Now we're going to let the interstitial ads just kind of play. We'll try to tell you when there are commercial breaks, and we'll tell you when we're back. And, you know, we're bad at it, so uh, be prepared. Here's what I foresee. Even in the future when this is out on DVD, the baked in ad is still going to be baked in because they're they're like that. I'm I'm guessing. So if you're watching this on DVD, there's probably a baked in ad. If there isn't, wait eight more seconds till after we start it, and we'll kind of tell you when that is too. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> and just imagine if baked in ads had been around like through all of like art th- produced through history. You know. Uh... Can you imagine going to a Mozart opera or, you know, like something, and then, you know, the first aria is like, the prince is so great, you know? <laughs> yeah, Mo- mm. Mozart would probably do something about him farting, though. Yeah. But, you know, like... Uh, anyway. I just opened my beer. Oh, good idea. I, uh, I don't... I don't have an alcohol budget this month. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I... Aren't you, I'm excited to see what play. seven does. And you know what? Since, you know, everybody is like. The episode that everybody doesn't like is probably going to be the one that we really like. That could be. That could be. I am excited to see how seven of Vine has developed as a person since, you know, the end of Voyager. I'm, I'm interested in that. And it, it's probably what? Let me see, Voyager would have ended. Voyager ended, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, right before Nemesis was released. Um, a little bit before. It, it's enough time for our Janeway to come home and become an admiral. Remember? Right. Okay. So, um, okay. So we've had for her to blossom, <laughs> I guess. And I want to see what they do with that. Hopefully, they do something with it. Yeah. Nothing yeah. but F bombs. Oh god damn it. <laughs> no, no. No, it's more like mother <sighs> it, you know, you know, we've reached a nadir when I'm like hoping that they like do a callback to Spock cursing in Star Trek four because that would be more entertaining than what they've been doing with bad language so far. Uh-huh. I believe the term is you bitch. Uh, well, let's start this wonderful and thought-provoking episode of Star Trek Picard <laughs> that we're about to watch. Um, I've got my uh, I've got my tendrils over my m- activator. I've got the matrix set to zero, and I'm ready for a five-second countdown. You ready, gentlemen? This is Star Trek Picard. Epi- season one, episode five, Stardust City Rag. And we are starting it together in five, four, three, two, one. Bang. Baked in ad. There are three, two, one, and it's starting with a recap of episode one. Make See? sure you buy the comic so you know what's going on, except when they change it later. Yeah. Imagine having such little faith in your TV episode that you have to spend the next five episodes recapping it. Hmm. She called you on her banana phone. Ring, 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 ring. I do really like that they have the classic bird of prey, though. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense that it's there, I suppose. 
Well, and it's not some like f***ed up monstrosity. It looks fairly close. Yeah. True. Episode starts. Ooh. Planet Vergessen. Vergessen. Vergessen, it's a planet. Hey, you. Oh, the seven domes 13 years ago. Ooh, now it's a little later than it was in the last flashback. Yeah. I thought I saw some gore on the other side. Yep. You had it. You did. All right. Lieutenant. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, don't drill. Uh, no, 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 no. No. no, I thought it was. Uh, oh. I can't. Jesus. Why? Don't. God. Uh, no. no. Uh, you don't have. No. God. Uh, no. No. Uh, no. Ah. Do, do, do. F- uh, f- Jesus. <laughs> We didn't need that. Uh, no. Oh my god. Thank Vigil? God. Was that one of the board? That was yeah. Ejab. Yep. <sighs> I wonder if she knows any Klingon opera. That is a really slow rag. It's almost a dirge. <laughs> Bruce Nelluk. Matt Damon. If Dave Batista isn't in that suit, I will be really disappointed. Is that Maddox? It is. Mm, trying to. It's yellow. <laughs> she got electrolytes. <laughs> Her name is Vajazzle? Vajazzle. Oh. It's a long A. It's spelled the same way. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That broke easily. Yeah.
But you can vajazel some weight. <laughs> Yeah, they say you shouldn't drink straight vajazel. So is that the same actor that played Egypt in Voyager? Yes, I could. Yeah, I mean, I didn't look it up, but he, yeah, the resemblance is he, there. He looked very close. Yeah, that's got to be him. Mm. We can look it up, but that's got to be him. If only there was some like worldwide thing. Yeah. Broken glass into the pupil of your eye. And we're wa- by the way, we're watching this the commercial free version. Yes, I think we went over that. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we didn't before, we have now. <laughs> okay, Jonathan Drake directed mm-hmm. this. Commercial break. We who back? <laughs> Rock'em sock'em hollow bots. Yeah. <laughs> that that scans. Found someone you have. <laughs> <laughs> You know, for 900 years old, she looks pretty good. And you're not? That would be a dagger in my heart if I had one. A dagger or a heart? Yeah. If he doesn't die? (laughs) Pretty much. Yeah, Seven of Nine being like a horrible alcoholic makes a lot of sense. (laughs) No, pork stuff. Mm-hmm. 
His chair has a cup holder. You know, if I have ever would have a starship in the future, my chair better fucking have a cup holder. Yeah. But not the knife. He's her dad. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you made her cry. <laughs> you made me cry. <laughs> What the? Go away, Clippy. I don't care how you. (laughs) Quit fucking disguising yourself, Clippy. Oh, good. Targeted ads. Rock 'em sock 'em robots. <laughs> yeah, hey, violence. <laughs> Targeted ads. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, shut up. Where, where is Maddox? Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, but we have one teenage ninja. That should be enough because this is how they write teen now. Commercial break. We back. Well, good thing seven of nine has nothing to live for, I guess. Really? <laughs> really? Mott's hair emporium? Really? I get it. <laughs> I pulled up all these outfits from the 90s database. Yeah.
Send one of your fucking holograms. They don't have a mobile emitter. If only they knew someone who could build one. Oh, hey, it's Second Life. <laughs> Where's the stream of flying penises coming through the room? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> well, the free hugs. Is that guy. a thing? Oh, yes, it was. Uh, he had sex with his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, space is a lonely place, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a good stuff. No, you have to open the other eye. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking god damn it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Uh, yeah. Mhm. Mm 
Yeah. And teach her how to do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bernard. <laughs> they better not scan you. <laughs> Aroused. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Okay. So it is more convincing than any of the times they went undercover on generation. Who thinks she'll be back? Two episodes. Drugs, 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 drugs. Commercial break. We we're back. Ooh. Wow. Uh, genetic engineering. <laughs> I've been stalking you for 10 years. I <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> just been locked your hair planted in my brain. I can't. <laughs>
not. Hmm. Hmm. Synth lives matter, man. Hmm. Thin yellow line. Oh, so she's not a junkie anymore. I had me fooled. That's what I thought she was going for. Oh, Ah. Uh. <laughs> So she have a bomb in her or something? <laughs> a great vajazzle. Huh. <laughs> Commercial break. Wee. We're back. Move. Huh, better days. Yeah, you couldn't recognize him underneath the not a disguise. (laughs) 
Let's see, now's a good time to start choking her. Leave and then discuss. Okay, this is a lot like next gen. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, right. we it's, saw it's, it already. Great, thanks. I don't. God, no, no. No. Uh, Too late. Uh, leave. Get get the ship out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so why did they focus in on the, uh... She's gonna go back down. Yeah. She's going to go back down and go on a killing spree. Yeah, and yeah, that's what I would do if I was her. Hmm. 
I kind of liked her wicker shoulder pads better. Could you please kill her? Two. Ah, uh, the consciousness ray. <laughs> I need one of those in the morning. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I gotta get rid of my <laughs> massive abdominal hemorrhaging in the morning. <laughs> All those burritos, man. Uh oh. There is another Sochi. Okay. <laughs> All right, now you can die. So I can kill him. Yes. So I can report what I just heard back to the Romulans. <laughs> or to the <sighs> Federation lady who's probably a Romulan. Or to the other synths. Or to the Borg. <laughs> oh, hey there. She's got a phaser behind her back.
Yep. And his face explodes. Uh, it's over. It's over. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> Just God I, damn it. <laughs> See, <laughs> it's, 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 it's the same emotion every time where it's like, it's like they keep throwing the same thing at us and then they just stop. <laughs> it's like, you know, imagine you lived in a family where every night for dinner you had the same pork chop and sweet potato and can of Dr. Pepper for dinner. Every don't forget, day. Don't forget one raw Vidalia onion. One raw Vidalia onion every day. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this, <laughs> right? And it's just all you have. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing intrinsically wrong <laughs> with a pork chop or a sweet potato or a Dr. Pepper or even a Vidalia onion. But it's I, Okay, you should not eat a raw Vidalia onion. Uh, you know, if that's what you're into, I'm not going to judge you, but... Like... God, like... I'm. <laughs> it's just, I'm just. I'm just bored of being tense and dramatic and cliffhangers. Yeah, what a twist! And, and they're being twists. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is this twist wasn't a twist. It, it, none uh, of it is. None of it's a twist. It's just the way. Okay, the last episode, I was surprised to see Seven the first time. I guess I was. Well, I really wasn't because there were lots of spoilers being posted no, on Reddit. See, I have, I've completely stayed away from them. Yeah, <laughs> I tried, but then people were putting it in the title, so it's like... Yeah. Eh, well. Oh, I unsubscribed from the Star Trek subreddit sometime around when Discovery yeah, was launched. Well, the main Star Trek subreddit now I have because it was just infuriating. <laughs> I just, ah, oh, I just, oh, I don't. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, stop for a second. All right. What, what were the What were the good points? Um, anybody? Oh, I'm, come I'm, on, dude! I am not. This is not a bit. I'm trying. I swear to God. <laughs> All right. You know. You know what. <laughs> No Romulan hipster. You're right. Okay, Edward was yes, not in point. this episode. We did. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look on the and, bright and side. The the incest was at a minimum. <laughs> <laughs> that was brought off my ass. Oh, look, she's her dad. Oh. <laughs> I believe my exact oh. word was. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> um. No, I really would have liked to have heard more from Bruce Maddox, him being a, you know, old timey character that we got to see, you know, decades yeah. ago. We, we Instead could have, of like, oh, we rescued him. Oh, now he's dead. We could have had an insight into technology. We could have talked about the advancement of culture and of the scientific consensus and how 
you know, he was working to, to, to validate his work and open a new branch of understanding and the knowledge and expand the human thought experience. But and, no, they just, and now him. it's such a mystery and I can give you insight because I'm the expert. Oh, nope. He's dead too. Or in the pre, the prior relationship between him and Picard, you know, develop a mutual respect and get to understand each other a little better. And, you know, look back at, yeah. 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 <laughs> Like, it's 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 more oh, it's more dramatic. Oh killing. god! <laughs> yeah. Oh, any character that was in the show before, we're gonna kill off immediately. And then you know we've got Anakin. Sorry, Leonor. Um, you know he could have done something cool. Nope. He was kind of funny. For this episode, who's the comic relief? That's your threshold for humor now. <laughs> <laughs> we've come that low. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah he wasn't uh, really the one who was the badass in this episode it was rios yeah and, okay okay and okay there okay. Rios and there, seven there we go rios in this episode respectable good character i came away from this episode every time he was on screen something that i could hold on to happened that was good and well done there you go there's something i like and you know um Actually, we were wrong about Rafi. We were. That is a positive. And I was, I was actually, I, I, let, me, let me take credit here, because I was actually thinking of saying that, like, uh, till one of you brought up something right before I said it. And that's cool. But, <laughs> but yes, yes, I thought she was just a drug addict, and it turns out she was but isn't now she she's she's improving herself she's improving the human condition like you do on star trek <sighs> and then she got rejected and probably will sink back into it i guess which okay fair enough her yeah or not we don't know and, yet. and yeah and 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 again so so the okay so I propose that the real subtitle for this series should not be Picard. It should be such fucking hubris. That should like actually be <laughs> the name of this TV series because we saw that there. And I, I do appreciate on a, on a real level that, that, you know, we are, we are being faced with a reality that not everything can turn out with a happy ending. You know, that, that there are things about Jean-Luc Picard that he needs to face up to, that his arrogance caused problems. We are seeing that. And if, if, if there is a central theme to this show, I think that's it. Um, and, and I like that, that her story is following that theme right now as well you know she cleaned herself up she made a tough journey but there is still penance to be paid and i think that's that's a story that needs to be told you know and and i think that's a that's a story that people were hesitant to tell in the 90s you know when when next generation was on we were talking about how this isn't next generation and this is a good difference i think because there was very much a culture in media of you know if you're an adult and you make a mistake but you stop making that mistake, then everything's good. Even if you, even if you hurt other people, like everything's fine. Now, you know, you all just, will be forgiven. Yeah. Like you stopped doing the bad thing and now there are no consequences for the bad things you used to do because you quit, you know? And, and, and I think it's, it's important that we now see a world where no, you still have to clean up your mess. Because that's closer to real life, you know. So okay. Oh, I mean, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say. So there are some good things. That was my closer. No, I think they actually handled Seven's character in line with what we saw of her. Yeah, everything about her made sense to me. Everything she did in this episode, except, <laughs> <laughs> um, and and they left an opening here. But I I I have trouble imagining her completely giving in to dying in a, in the, you know, just being killed there. Um, I, I would imagine seven having a way out and she had the transmitter and there's an opening there and it may happen. I don't know, but they did play it like she got killed and on the surface of it, based on only this much information, I disagree with that part only, but they may I, I see. No, she took Chekhov's um, transporter enhancer. Exactly. So she may be somewhere else. Yeah, Seven always had a 
I don't know. She, she always had an Acer. You know I mean? She always had an Acer yeah. bra. Yeah. And she gave in to her vengeful emotions on Voyager. Absolutely. She did a lot. She was very angry. A lot. That was one of her main character arcs was, you know, she struggled with dealing with her anger and so forth. I just wish... I just wish they would structure this differently. I don't like the... I know. I don't like the tone and I don't like the... The, the storytelling structure of the whole thing. I don't like the way it's presented F- like form, like the form of it. I don't like, I don't like it formatically formally, however you want to say that. I, I understand. I, I feel you there. Yeah. I do wish it was a little bit more episodic. Yeah. It's exhausting. But we got, you got to remember there, all the episodes are going to end like this. They, they are. And it's just going to keep happening. <laughs> We're gonna keep. Um, we're gonna keep doing can I, can this. I say it's gonna like this every time. Yeah, go ahead. Like, if I had to guess, I th- I would have guessed this was actually a higher rated episode than the lowest rated one. Which tells me, on the surface of it, there are an awful lot of people that think like we do on this. <laughs> that this was too much. <laughs> yeah, that that whole opening scene was. I really, uh, uh, yeah, it wasn't necessary. We didn't need that. We don't need. They did it because they could. We don't. Uh, you don't. You don't need that. There, there's somebody sitting around this table. We're showing them stuff they would never been able to show in Star Trek before. And I'm, I guarantee you, somebody sat around the table and said that. Somebody. If you're the, per- if you were the person who said that and are listening to us, first of all, wow, I'm impressed that we reached you. Second of all, <laughs> why the. F- Third of all, stop thinking that's something that matters. It CGI was, was passe was it, was 20 first years contact ago. Where they we showed, you know, Borg getting implants put in and they just kind of had like the, the face in profile and it showed the implant going down probably next to the actor's head, you yeah. know. Yeah. But, you know, that's that's close enough. Yeah. yeah. So first, <laughs> first contact, they almost, almost showed something penetrating the An eyeball. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you didn't need to go further than that. No, but they well, need to be they have edgier to, to reach the, the kids these days. And shit like that. Yeah. How do they ex- remember how we were talking about me getting old? How how do they? <laughs> how do they expect? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shaggy! Thank you very much. And this and- episode sponsored by Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, on, on that, hey, I, I totally don't need that because I don't get laid anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no. On 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 that on that topic, at least uh, Seven of Vine was modestly mm-hmm. dressed. She wasn't there for sex. Yeah, but to 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 make another point though, like how do they expect to appeal to the kids today on nostalgia for something twenty five <sighs> years old? You know, and and that's kind of my argument with everything. Like, oh, you know, all all the franchises that everybody loved in the seventies and eighties and nineties, yeah, it's stuff that the kids today have never heard of. See, (laughs) yeah, you know, like all three of us have have aged out of the prime demographic that you know marketers appeal to. But everything that's out there is a franchise we've known since we were born. You know, but they 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 take stuff that that was around 30, 40 years ago, and then they do it in a style that nobody who was around then liked and wonder why nobody young or old likes it. And they keep doing it, and they've been doing it for 20 years. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Star we Trek sure did. with us. We sure did. Absolutely. You know, it was a great time. And The reason we do this is like we can't hang out physically with each other. Wait, that's not wrong. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> this episode brought to you by not with brought to you by Blue Chew. <laughs> oh God, because we can't. Oh. <laughs> it's just not enough incest it's in our get lives. Get through for guess. round two. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and you know it works if Jesus is your thing he can be there too we don't judge <laughs> we don't judge 
or Rios oh, or whoever. Man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. If Jesus is your thing. Yeah, he's just our right with consecrated me. flavor. Oh. Hey, you know, we're we're just three guys with day jobs who I, are I don't have a day job. What are you talking um, about? <laughs> I have Let me try this again. Take three. <laughs> take take three, Bluetooth, it'll never go down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is I gotta eat my beer left? I don't know. I wish I had some. This is about so a bit. I have spit on my monitors. Uh, spit on my monitors. Uh, now it's gone. Uh, nice. Let's try this again. Take four. Take four. <sighs> Damn it, I tried to say like something wholesome and you, you guys ruined it. And we that's what we do. <laughs> no, we no, um, we can't hang out for real. Yes. My so my thing's going nuts. I hear oh. <laughs> Scrodrick types in a chat that his mic is muted, so he can't ruin this. I'm sure he's like in tears laughing over there on <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> What does he just say? He said, I will not talk about dick pills or gay sex. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for we that. We weren't editing. talking about that. No. Ever. Or Jesus. <laughs> I'll stop reading the chat. Uh, <laughs> that just ruined the point of me doing that. We're, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> so many bleeps in the future. Now we we do this because we're we're friends who don't get a chance to hang out together, and you know if nothing else, hopefully if you're also lonely and bored, then you know maybe we've given you some entertainment this evening, a lot more entertaining than maybe Star Trek Picard would be on its own, or a lot less. I don't know. If you're into this, please explain to me why. Email us at highway forty seven productions at gmail dot com for comments, questions, ideas, hate mail, pornography, <laughs> whatever. Um, Hey, you can email me crockpot recipes at Harry Potter crockpot recipes at gmail.com. Proposition me at scradrick at gmail.com. And, uh, you know, we'll catch you next time around with episode six. Sometime. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Uh, <sighs> <sighs> oh, yeah. Matt Damon.